So here we are on the Paseo Maritimo and uh, this is our first attempt at doing a 360 video. So if you're watching on a smartphone all you have to do is just move your phone around and you should be able to see a different view. Similarly if you're, if you're watching on a, a tablet uh, you should be able to do something similar or you can swipe with your finger across the tablet and you'll be able to see the different views. Um, if you're using a computer then you can use your mouse and you can uh, hold the mouse button down somewhere in the picture and uh, just drag it from side to side and you should be able to look at the boats or see a meter on the other side of the walkway here. Unfortunately, if you're watching on a TV, uh, I know some people have told me they like to watch the walks on a big screen. Um, I think all you'll get is the, the front view, so I'm not sure what it's going to look like if you're on a, a TV. I've not got that far with the experiments yet. So, uh, see how it goes and, uh, and do let me know. You can put in the comments below. Uh, how you viewed it and uh, how it worked, whether it was a good experiment, whether I need to do something different. But I'm always keen to try out some different technologies and uh, this one seems to be quite exciting. We're coming towards the end of my uh, Easter holidays. I've got only uh, well, tomorrow's Friday, it's Thursday the 8th of April today, 2021. And then I uh, go back to school next week. I've still not had my vaccination yet. Um, Anita had hers yesterday and uh, had quite a reaction to it this morning. She was okay after the vaccination, um, even to the late evening going to bed. But this morning when she woke up, She's not feeling too well at all, a little bit dizzy and nauseous and a headache. Um, she had the AstraZeneca, uh, which wasn't originally going to be given to people of our age group, uh, but that's what she had. They've now changed the rules, they're not going to give it to the younger people, and uh, they seem to be going to give it to the older people. So. Anyway, she was not too good this morning, we were due to go out for lunch uh, with our friend John. Uh, but she didn't make it, so it was a lad's lunch today. Most enjoyable down in San Caliu uh, for their menu del dia. I didn't take a video camera with me there, so no pictures of that lunch, no evidence of how much wine was drunk. It was very, it was a very good lunch. I hope if you just uh, pan around you can see the different boats here. We're walking past Sensation, nice big sailing yacht, and a few more big sailing yachts coming up in front of us. So we've had Easter restrictions and uh, they tightened up the restrictions a little bit for Easter. They were due to be reviewed and uh, the restrictions were just till the 11th or 12th, new restrictions then. Uh, but they've uh, there's some new restrictions announced in the paper today, so I think they've announced them early, which means that uh, actually they're not going to change the restrictions for another two weeks. So they're a little bit frightened that uh, with all the tourists that came over Easter, there could have been a, a surge in the number of cases, but it's difficult to know uh, how that surge has affected the numbers, because there's always a delay. And so they're going to wait for two weeks to see whether they can uh, reduce any of the restrictions that have been 
put in place. So there are some slight alleviations, uh, but nothing very much. Increases in capacity of shops is one. It's going from 50% to 75%. Not a huge, huge number, but it's a, it's a slight increase. Um, but the bars, restaurants who've been hoping that they could be open for longer or they could open the interiors, that's not the case. Bars and restaurants are not allowed to open on the inside at all and will still have to close at 5pm. So that's quite a considerable restriction and uh, it's going to affect them at least for another two weeks and hopefully by then. Uh, we'll have had a, another improvement in the, the numbers and the, the way that this virus is affecting the population and we will then therefore be able to uh, ease the restrictions again and the bars, the restaurants will be open for a little bit longer. Looking at the numbers, we are still getting cases but we are one of the areas of Mallorca <laughs> autonomous regions with the the lowest number of cases still uh, we're actually in level two but only just um, level two starts at 50 cases per hundred thousand uh, we want to be in level one which is less than 50 cases per hundred thousand uh, but we I think we've got about 52 or 53 so it's not very significantly above that number <coughs> In terms of people in the ICU, they are uh, numbers are going down as well, and the uh, number of admissions to hospitals seems to be going down. So numbers are looking good. They've just got to stay that way for the next two weeks, as we have had quite an influx of tourists. We've been surprised um, as we've been walking around. We found different parts, hotels open that we hadn't expected to be open and uh, lots of tourists actually here mainly from Germany and Scandinavian countries there's obviously still no British tourists the British are restricted by their their rules, the rules which say they can't leave until the 17th of May at the earliest but uh, from what they're Prime Minister said uh, earlier this week it sounds as though the restrictions will be eased but we've got this re um, red amber green traffic light system uh, to decide whether a place is safe to go to or not and uh, I've not seen it being made very clear whether Spain will be grouped as a country as a whole or whether the Balearic Islands will be considered a separate entity uh, because we have much lower numbers than we do many areas of the mainland of Spain. One uh, restriction that has been, or will be removed this weekend, is um, the travel restriction. Um, and that travel restriction is for us to go to the mainland or people from the mainland to come here. So, during the Easter break, uh, all travel between different communities was uh, legal unless you've got a very good reason and so um, that's one of the restrictions that is going to be eased over the next um, weekend and Spanish families will be able to reunite we have been able to go to places like Ibiza Menorca or Fomentera because they are part of our autonomous region, part of the Balearic Islands. But we couldn't travel to Barcelona or Madrid, for example, or Valencia. People from the UK, um, we've heard of some who've been coming here. Um, they've managed to find loopholes. So you can come if you, are, if you have a job, if there's uh, some work. Um, but you, don't, you need to have a contract 
uh, you can come if you're purchasing a property so there are some loopholes and people have managed to get around some of those and there are stories as well of people getting to the border and uh, not being allowed into the country so if you are trying to find one of those loopholes do make sure you have all the necessary papers it's only another six weeks or so um, before we'll be able to see if uh, the restrictions are going to be uh, removed so that date the 17th is quite a key date going past all of the party boats here these have been in storage somewhere I don't know where they've been they've not been out here over the winter time so the big catamarans and the, the other party boats they're all here ready to take tourists some of the beaches we've been to uh, I've already got the sunbeds and sun parasols on Calvia, which is one of the biggest regions, Calvia have declared the 1st of May as the date when they are intending to officially start the season. And the, the local government, the government from the Baleares, have said that we are definitely going to have a season. Um, it might be starting later than normal, and that's for sure. Uh, but the intention from the government at the moment is to extend the holiday season uh, into the winter since normally here holiday season has been finishing at the end of October and November it's a bit like night and day it's sort of busy lots of tourists in October and then as soon as we enter November it suddenly goes to this uh, almost like the lockdown where there is no no tourists well hopefully that's not going to happen this year this year uh, we're going to continue to have tourists well into November and December and uh, it's not new we've um, when we first came to the island and uh, there were always tourists in the winter um, but gradually the tour operators cut down the number of uh, package holidays that they were providing and so less and less hotels opened because less hotels were opened there were less flights and we started to get this shorter and shorter summer season I think there's going to be some effort now at last by the local government to uh, somehow rejuvenate the the winter and uh, end of October November can be a beautiful time to be in Mallorca and I've often thought uh, when we had the scouts we'd be setting up our bonfire night which is 5th of November in t-shirts and shorts and wondering why there were no tourists around it just seemed ridiculous but uh, that's how it has been for a good many years Another thing which they're going to encourage is, I think they're going to encourage pensioners to come here, Spanish pensioners that is, from the mainland. It's another way of generating um, tourism is to give the, the pensioners from the mainland a subsidy so that they can uh, travel to Mallorca and spend, uh, spend some of their euros here instead of spending them wherever they normally live and for them it means that they can come and do walks like this and uh, spend money in the cafes and bars and the local shops so hopefully that system will be started up again past quite a lot of the 
smaller boats, a SpongeBob boat here. And these will be uh, owned by local people mostly. And uh, they will come out usually on the weekends when they're not working and take their boats out. Or just do some repairs that they need to do. But some of the bigger boats that are here, Anita was speaking to Graham Baxter of Baxter Marine in Fortress Down. And uh, he was saying in Port Hals, quite a Port Hals, of some boats there where the, the owners have not seen the boat for two years. Um, an incredible waste and an incredible expense. just coming up to seven o'clock in the evening so the wind the the sun behind me is just uh, starting to go down uh, temperature is perfect for walking put my little jacket on today and it's, uh, it is getting a bit warm now and uh, the temperature's probably just in the high teens at the moment it's been a little bit cooler today yesterday was cold uh, didn't get much above 12 degrees we had this strange dip in the temperatures uh, that's been affecting much of Europe and friends in Wales John and Anwin were telling me that uh, they've got four inches of snow that they had to clear off their car family in uh, Stoke-on-Trent were telling me they had some snow there in Leek up on the moorlands there Martin and Barbara were facetiming with us and telling us about the snow that was coming down and then down in the south of England in Somerset our daughter was telling us about the snow there and even as far as Hampshire near the High Isle of Wight uh, our eldest daughter was telling us about the, the snow that they had there none of it particularly settled down there but uh, at least the, it gave them a little bit to see uh, usually by this time they would have been skiing probably once or twice already in the season um, but that's not happened this year you can see cafes and bars just to my right if you pan around you can see the cafes and bars have all been cleared now just walking around the back of this one this is one where we would normally stop for a coffee but uh, not possible to stop today because five o'clock all the car all the bars the cafes have to close and people have to leave so you're not allowed to be on the terraces and the insides are closed anyway so there's no coffee stops for us today but people do come out for a walk and just like us They'll walk along the promenade and uh, just enjoy the fresh air. Very much the smaller boats on this part here now. However, if you I don't know if you can see in the distance. Uh, the Rail Club Nautico, that's the old sailing club here. And uh, just, uh, just on the other side of that, there are some huge boats which come in to be, uh, to be restored during the winter time, ready to go out for the summer cruises. And uh, in the past, I've actually worked on some of them, they're quite fascinating some with gyms on, swimming pools, it's just another world. Interesting to see someone with skis with wheels.
we're just coming to the end of this part of the walkway. And that's the point at which we, we turn around and, and go back. So if this has worked, please let me know in the comments uh, if you've been able to scroll around or move your phone around, see the different views. Please let me know, see how it looks. And uh, if it works, give me a thumbs up. That's probably one of the ways you can just do it. Just click on that thumbs up. And uh, if you think you know someone who might be able to benefit from watching this and do share it with them, share it with your friends. One thing I didn't mention is that it may be that you can watch this with a virtual VR headset, virtual reality headset. Um, I was looking at those last night on Amazon, they started about six euros. So, I think some of them are incredibly cheap. Um, the cheapest ones you just slot your phone in and uh, you have to set it to the virtual reality mode uh, which uh, splits your screen down the middle so you end up watching the video through this headset and uh, as you turn your head you can see the different views I've not tried that myself um, so I'm also waiting uh, to hear what, what it looks like through the VR headset um, you can go for the more uh, sophisticated, complicated, expensive version, something like the Oculus, uh, which will give you that 3D view, and uh, you don't need to put a phone in those. They've got these high-resolution cameras, uh, so that you high-resolution screens, so that you can actually see what's going on. So please, yes, please give us a thumbs up. I uh, hope it's worked, and uh, if you haven't already subscribed and then please subscribe and uh and let everyone know what it's like here in Mallorca. the sun's really beating down now and uh it's uh bye from us and we'll see you in the next video bye bye, bye, -bye.